So you have a form that you created, but you're unsure the best way to go about sharing it. Let's chat through that. Hey, Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. And there are a lot of different ways to share your form or even your tables or anything that you have made within Jotform. And there are some nuances that can go behind it as well. So I already have a very simple form created. It basically just has their name and their email. So the first place that we want to head to when we're talking about sharing is going to be that publish button. Now, this might be a little obvious, but of course the link is there for you to copy and share. Now you can share the link just like this, or you can utilize it maybe on your website and make it a hyperlink. You can maybe say click here and then make the here be that link. And something else I like about this and not a lot of people notice this is there is a pencil at the end of that link. So if we click this, it automatically gives us a more branded link, but we can even change it even more. We can add an S, forms, but we can make it whatever we want it to be. And so now it's a little bit more branded, like I said, to us. So first of all, we have that copy link. Now, if we go up to the settings right here, we have some different things that people can do with this form. So the first piece is going to be the access that people have to this form. If it's a private form, it's only going to be to people that you invited, which we'll talk about in just a second. So if you just share this link out on social media and your email, people aren't going to be able to see it unless you invited them. Public is of course public, right? Anyone who clicks on your link will be able to access and fill out this form. And the last one's going to be company access. So if you only want your form to be available to the people within your organization, that's gonna be what you're going to wanna to choose. So like, for example, I'm with Jotform, and so my email ends in at jotform.com. So only people with at jotform.com will be able to see my form. Now the next section is going to be the permission. So if you want people to only be able to view and submit, you'll choose that first one. We have submit and view their submission later and then we also have submit view and edit if they would like then at the very bottom we also have more options we have the submission link on the thank you page if you want them to access that there submission link in the email and then allow the form fillers to contact you through inbox so those are those nuances within the settings so let's go ahead and head on back. Now, let's say I chose the private form, only those that I invite. This is where I'm going to send this to those specific people. You'll put all of their email addresses right here. So let's go ahead and send it to myself. There you go, I just put a comma there to separate, comma, perfect. So we can see each one. And then we also have the ability to change that preference here as well, which is really nice. If you want, we can put additional message here. But then another way that you can share form is you can click on any of these. It'll allow you to share it to a social platform. I think one that is definitely underused is the QR code. I personally like to send a lot of mail. So I have one of my forms as a QR code so people can fill it out as soon as they open their mail. And then if you click view more, there's only one more, it's to share as a template. So if you've created a form and you'd like to share it in the template gallery, you can do that right here as well. Now, of course, you can also create an app with your form. If you've never done that, I'd highly suggest you play with apps. They are amazing. But that is pretty much it as far as sharing your forms with other people to fill out. Now, let's head back. Now, some other ways to share, we can click on more right here. We can assign the form. That's one way of sharing it so that way people are assigned to fill it out. And another way that you can share forms, maybe you have multiple people on your team and you want them to all be working on the form at the same time is you can create a team with Jotform teams. And it is very simple right over here, create a team. But in order to get that form in the team, all you have to do is click on the form that you would like to drag over and drop it there. So yes, we're gonna move this to the team, move now. So now that form is a part of the Animal Shelters team. Now, another way that you can share is up at the very top, let's head over to forms and let's head to my tables. 
So I'm currently in the spreadsheet of that form that I just created. You can see the name and the email, but if you want, you can also share the spreadsheet. So up in the top right hand corner, we can click the share option and you have a couple of sharing options here as well. You can see it's automatically going to populate as a private table. So if you would like to change that to a public table, you can do that as well. And then of course we have some other options as well, but let's go ahead and change it back to a private table so we can see what this looks like. So from here, we can either choose the copy link to send to someone directly, or we can again add those emails in here. And it's as simple as that. If you have any other questions about how to share any asset within JotForm, please let us know. If you liked this video, if you got some value from it, please click the like button down below, subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notifications every time we put out a video. And if you have some suggestions of what you'd like to see next, as far as a how-to video with JotForm, let us know. And I'll see you next time.